To the peoples of the Pacific, the most harmonious, athlete-focused and culturally enhancing South Pacific Games, reflecting the Pacific at its best. We are focusing on you, the best athletes of the region, and hope that you will enjoy the facilities that we can provide within our means to ensure that the target and the dreams that you had set for yourself for the Super Games are achieved. I would like at this juncture to say a big thank you and Vinawa Levu to the government of Fiji and the governments that have served us since we won the bid in 1977, 1997, for the support offered to us as an organizing committee. I would also like to record our appreciation to the government of the People's Republic of China for the magnificent facilities built for the Games. The new venues will ensure that the... The new venues will ensure that the athletes competing in the 2003 South Pacific Games will compete in world-class facilities and that sports development in Fiji and in the regional will continue to grow in strength in the future. My gratitude goes as well to our other stakeholders, in particular the host city and the Lord Mayor, Councillor Chandu Maria and his council. the Fiji Sports Council and the National Sporting Federation and FASANOC, to the major sponsors of the South Pacific Games, the official suppliers, the nominated providers, and all of you in the business community that helped us to stage these games. And to the many, many volunteers who have worked long hours over the past few months to get us where we are today. I would also like to recognize the presence here in the audience of Dr. Saho Khan, formerly of Fiji and now resident in Australia, who at the South Pacific Conference meeting in Papua New Guinea in 1962 proposed the idea for the staging of the South Pacific Games. Finally, to all the visiting athletes and officials, I hope you enjoy your short stay here in Fiji. Best wishes to all of you for a successful competition conducted in the spirit of true sportsmanship and fair play. Good luck to you all. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Rick Blass, President of the SPG Council. Chers invités, Mesdames, Mademoiselles, Monsieur, Monsieur Rick Blass, President du Conseil des Jeux du Pacifique Sud. President of the South Pacific Games Council and Federation. Nisa Sambula, Namaste, and half a day. Good evening and welcome to the 2003 Suva South Pacific Games. President Ratu Josefa Iloilo and Lady Iloilo. The Prime Minister Lysenia Garase and Mrs. Garase. Chiefs of Fiji, Member of Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Members of the International Olympic Committee, President Kevin Gosper, Secretary General Dr. Robin Mitchell, Delegates from the 22 Island Nations, Officials, Coaches, Athletes, Ladies and Gentlemen. This evening, we are here to celebrate the ceremonies but also to recognize the development of the South Pacific Games history. I read in the Ireland Magazine article that Dr. A. H. Sahu Khan at the 1959 South Pacific Conference in Papua New Guinea recommended an inter-territory sports tournament to assist in overcoming insularity in the Pacific. Fiji was sponsor of the first game in 1963. The significance of that meeting memorialized the work of individuals like Dr. Khan and his colleagues, Mr. Semesas Sikovu and Mr. Pierre Isamatro, an idea conceptualized before I was born. Now for the third time back in Fiji, the historical significance of the Games, 40-year history, is bringing together the founders of the 59, 1959 vision and new athletes and delegates who are continuing to benefit from the vision 
along with the people of Fiji, the 22 island nation delegates of who are here today. When I handed the Games flag to Fiji, to Dr. Robin Mitchell, Chairman of the South Pacific Games Organizing Committee, at our closing ceremonies in 1999 in Guam, it promised that your games would be played in the state of art facilities to witness your multi-purpose hall, aquatic center, hockey, and baseball field. As I have seen your new sports facilities in the past few days, I am reminded of a comment in anticipation of its construction that Guam would be hard pressed to beat your facility. And you certainly have accomplished that, haven't you? Now, we too from Guam can compete in your state of the art facilities and great accommodations for our athletes and look forward to the best ever in the games in the Consul's history. The game's motto, Pacific at its best, is called, in our terms, called to arms. The success of these games has been dependent on government support, your sports administrators, the Olympic Committee, and national federations, as well as the people of the host country. Dr. Mitchell, four years ago, you left Guam with the Games flag. Since then, you've influenced and motivated the people of Fiji and the Greater Suva to form this great team of sports administrators in preparation for this evening event. Your patience will be tested in the next 15 days. And if I know you, your nature is to rise above challenges, and your leadership will drive this game to its ultimate success. And before I finish off, planning of the games, as I had experienced, relies a lot on a commitment, a commitment that is always somewhat put in the back burners of our plans. And I would like to recognize the many contribution of Dr. Mitchell through his wife, Mrs. Rosemary Mitchell. As a native speaker of tomorrow, our local language, Bula, means full or complete. Complete success to all the athletes. Bula Guam and Bula Fiji. Ricardo Blass, president of the South Pacific Games Federation, throwing down the challenge to Fiji. Distinguished Can it produce the best games ever? We're going to find out. We're at the opening Distinguished ceremony of the South Pacific Games, the 40th gentlemen. anniversary. His Excellency, and now we're moving up to Fiji, the point at which the Games is going to be Joseph formally Ilo opened by Ilo Fiji's Ilo head of Ilo state, Ilo our president, Dr. Giuseppe Ilo Ilo. And great symmetry Ilo. here because Ilo. not only is he the president Ilo. of Fiji, but he's also the Tui Vunda, and his chiefly village of Visese was the point in Fiji where, according to tradition, the first Fijians arrived, and in honor of that, that was where the game's torch was lit back on May the 20th before it began its procession around Fiji. So now the head of state of Fiji, Rata Josefa Iloilo, will open the 12th edition friends, of the South Pacific Games. My brothers and sisters, these games were born 40 years ago. <coughs> Our leaders then in the South Pacific Commission had a vision that sports could be used to bring our different peoples and countries together. They were right. Successive games have proven that whilst there is always fierce competition, a common feeling of oneness as Pacific Island peoples has also developed. The world has the Olympics. We have our South Pacific Games. <laughs> it is this feeling of oneness as a, as a Pacific Island community that I see in the teams that have assembled here for this 12th South Pacific Games. 
the best of our athletes have come from places near and afar. Their minds and bodies are ready for action. Their hearts are set on the ultimate prize of a gold medal. They have received the blessings of their people and on their strong shoulders rest the hopes and dreams of their countries. May these games in the days ahead they will write the next chapter in the proud story of the South Pacific Games. I say to them, be the, be the best you can for yourselves, for your families, and for people, and for your countries. Be faithful to the ideals of the Games. Remember their purpose. You are all children of the unique and marvelous family of the South Pacific. May these games strengthen our bonds of friendships. Let them bring us together, even as we compete in the renewed spirit of pride and mutual goodwill as Pacific Island people. Now, on behalf of the people of Fiji and on behalf of the community of Pacific Island nations, it is my honor and pleasure to declare the 2003 South Pacific Games. Thank you. The opening ceremony of the 12th South Pacific Games. And now with the formalities all but done, His Excellency it's time President, for all of us Rabbi to enjoy Joseph the Louis cultural Louis and performance and component of this Night of Nights here in ceremony. And whilst our athletes and officials take their seats for the cultural presentation, please enjoy some of the best of Pacific music. Nous terminons ici notre programme officiel de la cérémonie de Ouvetour. Pendant que nos athlètes et officiaux prennent place pour la présentation culturelle, oui, apprécieux, le meilleur de la musique du Pacifique. We request all countries. To your left is the allocated seating area for all athletes and marshals of the Fiji Sports Council will guide you accordingly. We call on the marshals of the uh, stadium area to please marshal the athletes towards their seating area just to the left or behind the left of the arena. Thank you.
across Fiji, around the region. You're watching live pictures of the South Pacific Games opening ceremony. And a little impromptu action here as we wait for the more formal component of the entertainment to begin tonight. But uh, Charles, everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. It's party time in Super Fiji. We're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the first ever South Pacific Games. And certainly the uh, President of Fiji, His Excellency Ranta Josepha, has formally opened the Games. And, and if that was the formal component of the Games, you get a sense now that everybody in this packed auditorium is sort of loosening their tie, if they were wearing a tie, kicking off their shoes, and uh, really getting into the spirit of the occasion. We're sort of halfway through the program. We've seen the athletes come past, the the, uh, the opening of the games has taken place, and now what we've got to look forward to over the next couple of hours is the cultural program. And I just can't tell you how the crowd is reacting to this lady. Everybody in the Pacific, as we know, loves a spectacle. They love nothing more to, to go up and stare, and, and this sight is really exactly what they've come to see. Well, they're prom promising the Pacific at its best, and it uh, looks like we're going to get it, and certainly we're into the entertainment component right now. And they're cranking up the volume here on the PA system as well. It's going to really rip here in Suva tonight, and there are a few people out for a big party. the uh, athletes now being invited just to leave the main central arena so they can uh, just make a little bit of space out here certainly enjoying the music and they're ramping it up big time here in Suva Pacific. I can tell you what, the cooks are never too far away, and I think we've got one of the cook on a netball is there right in the midst of it as well now. The Wolutians have got back into it. Well, I don't know what they're going to do about this because theoretically we should be having the uh, entertainment section now, but I think everybody's out to uh, enjoy themselves and uh, set their own entertainment. The Wolutions are back, Charlie, and they're out here in Suva. Well, certainly if you were one of those conservative uh, section managers, you'd be hoping that none of your athletes were in there expending valuable energy in this frivolous display of regional passion, dancing away like this. They should be conserving their energy for the big sports events, but somehow that's not the point. That's not the point of the opening ceremony. It's not why we're all here to enjoy the spectacle of the Games. Pictures coming to you live from the National Stadium here in Suva and Fiji and wherever you might be uh, watching these pictures tonight it's a very warm welcome on behalf of all of us here. 
Games organizing committee has worked extremely hard to get us to this position whereby we can bring you these pictures and we're absolutely delighted and honored to be here with you this evening. Talking about that and the, uh, the work the South Pacific Games Organising Committee has done, it probably uh, gives us an opportunity to talk about the many hats of Dr. Robin Mitchell, who heads the Organising Committee here. He's also the Secretary General of the Oceania National Olympic Committee, the President of the NOC here in Fiji, Fasenov. And he's an IOC member, and not an IOC member who turns up infrequently, but he's actively engaged, particularly on the medical commission side of things. And he still maintains his, his uh, general practitionership here in Suva. He really has, and his team as well, committed a tremendous amount of their time and energy into bringing off this Games. In many respects against too many obstacles to name, but here we are on day one of the South Pacific Games enjoying this wonderful event. Everything that uh, Dr. Mitchell and his team have promised, he's delivered and, and so, so much more. Well, just picking up the point you were making earlier on, uh, Charlie, I guess uh, team managers and section managers will be probably pretty happy that we've got a day of rest tomorrow. Everybody can uh, dry off a little bit and get set for competition which of course gets underway bright and early on Monday morning in fact we're probably going to have a few medals decided by uh, this time Monday night and that all important uh, medal tally will be very much in our minds but I think there are a couple of pictures here that are going to be making the back pages across the Pacific some uh, wonderful photo opportunities Live pictures coming to you from the National Stadium in Suva. Great to have your company this evening and we will be back with a whole lot more very, very soon. Once again, we request all athletes to make their way to the embankment that has been provided for you, a seating area that has been provided for you. Thank you. in front of yourselves towards the uh, in front of everyone your area is the vacant or almost vacant embankment that has been allocated for the athletes thank you those of you at the entrance of the stadium we ask you to please move towards the allocated seating area as we will commence our first item for the entertainment from that area. We also request members of the police to remove their instruments for the entry of our contingent from Matvatuto. We ask all Fiji athletes if you can marshal yourselves to one area as there is a special program that will be presented to you by the students of St. Joseph. This is the opening ceremony of the 12th South Pacific Games and about 45 minutes ago, organizers invited the athletes to take their position on one of the embankments overlooking this wonderful facility here at the National Stadium. Slowly they've done that. We've seen a series of impromptu dances and get-togethers out in the Pacific, uh, Pacific Way, 
party time here. But uh, Charlie, it's been a big night, and now I guess we're getting set for this uh, multimedia entertainment component. And obviously, the best kept secret in Fiji, and it really has been the best kept secret in Fiji, is who is going to be the person who will light the game's pauldron. I've tried every single devise every single ruse to try and crack the secret but everybody's been very tight-lipped they really are building up the sense of expectation we've had a helicopter buzzing around behind us uh, it actually landed in one of the soccer pitches and uh, I'm just wondering if the helicopter has got anything to do with the person who's going to be lighting that cauldron yes the ceremonial games flag is fluttering away to our left a little bit of a breeze blowing across the National Stadium at the moment. A few drops of rain back out again. But I just wonder what other dramas are going to unfold here, Charlie, as we look toward uh, competition here, because the National Stadium, of course, will be hosting a number of sports over the next couple of weeks or so. In particular, of course, the uh, highlight will be track and field uh, week after next, week two of competition. And I'm sure there are going to be some mighty stories told about this particular time. It was interesting, the, the point that you were talking to earlier when Tahiti came through about the sense that you get that Tahiti is slightly ebbing away in terms of its, uh, its traditional supremacy within the South Pacific Games. Its sort of political moves towards a, a sense of political independence has, has limited the resources that they've been able to invest. And, and obviously there's tremendous hope here in Fiji that with the home games we find, might finally be able to prevail over Tahiti and New Caledonia who we see as our as, as the likely contenders. Is there another country who we're missing that Fiji should be concerned about who may be able to sneak through? Well I'm sure there are going to be a few surprises but I'd just like to pick up that point as well uh, Charlie because indeed just watching Team Fiji come through here tonight and this rapturous applause, this sort of spontaneous noise that erupted in this stadium tonight surely that is going to carry make the difference between a, a gold and a silver medal you know 0.5 of a second in a, in a track meet a swim perhaps or a spike at the volleyball enclosure i'm sure that's really going to do a, a serious amount of good for fiji's prospects as well obviously the opportunity to have trained on what are a lot of new facilities now uh, i know that the athletes from around the region as and when they arrive have been given and will be given the opportunity to train on this new facilities but there's nothing like familiarity to the, the, the specific conditions of a country the specific conditions of a track or a pool